We have a lot of people that come through the doors and tell us, oh, my father or my family member had one of those artefacts or um, my family came in on the migrant ships and they give us all these stories of what they've heard from their family members, but there are a lot of characters in the port. Old sea dogs, people that have worked in the port um, in their entire lives, um, always pop in and say hello. I like the vibe of the port, especially this old heritage precinct. Most of our visitors walk into our building, the Maritime Museum, and are actually in awe of the actual building itself. And then when they walk in those front glass doors and see the catch, they always wonder, how did we get that catch into our museum? Until we tell them that it was actually built on site. Um, so the most surprising area is probably downstairs in our basement. Not only can you see the original footings of when the building was built, but we have replica cabins from the uh, ships that came into Port Adelaide all the way from 1840 all the way up to 1950s. So we actually had the great guys from um, Black Diamond Tattoo come in here and do tattooing live in the museum. Um, we also had a historian from Flinders University talking about uh, the history of tattooing. So that was a really great night um, and we're hopefully going to have some more coming up with different themes. We are not the only museum in the Port Adelaide area. Um, we do form a, a big cultural hub here in Port Adelaide. So not only have you got the Maritime Museum, you've got the National Railway Museum and the Aviation Museum, all in Lipson Street. So three museums all in a row.